A reboot of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is inevitable at some point. It's not going to exist until the end of time. However, based on recent reports and rumours, that reboot may be coming sooner than we think. Hello and welcome to Cinemates, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. As mentioned, there have been recent reports and rumours of Marvel's plan to reboot the MCU after Avengers Secret Wars, which is currently scheduled to be released in 2027. With the current writer's strike and supposed slowing down of Marvel content, I think it's highly likely that we actually see this film in 2028, maybe even later. But that would put us at 20 years of the MCU since the release of Iron Man, which in itself is a fantastic cinematic achievement. But it leaves the question of, is it time to reboot? Do we finish off the MCU, send it out with a bang, a fantastic movie referencing all the Marvel characters across the multiverse and then start again? Or do we keep going and keep persevering? Now let's preface this video by saying these are just rumours. There's not much evidence behind this but with the multiverse in play, with DC rebooting and with similar events occurring after Secret Wars in the comics, it could genuinely be something Marvel are considering. And honestly I've seen a surprising amount of support for this idea, to hard reset the MCU. And I feel like this comes down to the the current feeling of superhero fatigue which some people are feeling and the inconsistent quality of recent Marvel projects. Personally I don't think a reboot will solve any of these issues. I think the feeling of superhero fatigue will feel even greater if we're expected to get invested in a new universe, retreading a lot of the same ground as we build this universe up again. And a new universe isn't going to solve the quality issue. If anything the quality could be even worse bringing in new creative teams who haven't proven what they can do. And if Marvel are seeing the negative reaction to some recent projects and thinking they need to reset and start again, that's very reactionary and I don't think it's a good sign of things to come. Like, let's see these stories play out and where they're building towards and if people still don't like them again after 5-10 years, then maybe have a break and think about resetting. But don't press the hard reset button at the first sign of trouble because we've seen that fail for both DC and Star Wars. So if you're someone who's feeling Marvel or superhero fatigue, does the idea of a new universe really fix that for you? Do you really want things to reset and start over again? Because for me, I think that will only make me more fatigued. It's not the genre or the characters or the universe that is burning me out, but the inconsistent quality and the sheer quantity of material that we're seeing. And that's where I think we get the most compelling argument for hard resetting the MCU. We currently have 32 films with at least 11 more somewhere in development and 9 series with 10 more somewhere in development and that's excluding the sequel seasons. That means by Secret Wars we will be 20 years with over 40 films and 20 series into this universe. That is massive. No other cinematic universe has been this big, this consistent and lasted this long. The DCEU, arguably Marvel's biggest competitor universe, ends this year after 10 years, 16 movies and one show. The Fox X-Men universe existed for 20 years but with only 13 films and it had a wildly inconsistent timeline and recasted the main actors. All of this is to say Marvel have done well but it has resulted in a ginormous universe which continues to get bigger and as they get bigger the universe becomes becomes harder to maintain and more inaccessible to audiences. When Endgame released it was the 22nd film in the MCU and I think that film does a good enough job of getting you on board if you haven't seen any of the other movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But if you did want to watch everything, 22 films felt just about manageable. But when we get to Secret Wars, will it be able to achieve this or will it feel like you need to have watched 40 movies, 20 TV shows and even movies outside of the MCU in the multiverse just to understand one film? Because that is a lot of homework. There will be so many characters that you have to have kept up on and we aren't seeing each character anywhere near as frequently as we were seeing them pop up in phase 3. And as the universe gets bigger we get more inconsistencies in the world and in the stories that not only do the audiences struggle to keep up but so do the creators. There is a point where Marvel will collapse under their own weight and people won't be able to keep up anymore. For us fans who are sticking with it all the way to Secret Wars, are we going to be able to do another 10 years after that? Keeping things going, staying invested and if you're a new fan if you're 8 years old when Secret Wars comes out, are you going to be able to get that invested in a franchise which is so large with so much history and then keep staying invested for the stories going forwards? This is the strongest argument for a hard reset of the MCU. Reset everything, start from scratch with new characters, new stories and that way new people can get invested in the universe and it becomes far more accessible. But you can't help but feel like it's throwing 20 years of work and fans down the drain and I'm not convinced that this is the right direction to take. Take. And I think neither is Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios and a major creative force behind the MCU. Let's take a look at a leaked email written by Kevin Feige back when Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was being rebooted for the new Amazing Spider-Man universe. Feige says, 
In a million years, I would not advocate rebooting the MCU. To me, it's James Bond, and we can keep telling you stories for decades, even with different actors. Now, of course, these emails are over 10 years old, and things have changed in that time. The idea of recasting Iron Man with a different actor seems crazy, but I think it gives us a look into Kevin Feige's thinking, and maybe what the MCU might have originally looked like if they weren't able to keep the iconic actors in their roles for so long. As their contract ends, rather than killing the characters off, Instead, we just recast them and keep the characters going for a long time. Luckily, this didn't end up happening because the actors became so iconic in their roles, contracts were able to get extended, and the MCU really built itself on having a very consistent universe with few recastings. Instead of replacing the actors for the same characters, what we got is passing the torch on to a new generation of heroes who can keep the universe going. And I don't think that's a bad idea. I've seen some people say the MCU is failing because we don't have Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans anymore, but I don't think that's true. They were of course fantastic in their roles, but we have enough good actors, charming characters, and interesting stories that we should be able to keep this universe going with the next generation of characters. The problem for me isn't the new characters, they are often the best part. It's the inconsistent stories and how infrequently we're seeing these characters. We saw Chris Evans as Captain America in some capacity every year from his first appearance in 2011, all the way to his final appearance in 2019. Since Endgame, we've seen our new Captain America once, and that's only if people watched a TV show. So his next film appearance will be in 2024, and who knows when we will see him again after that. My point here is that I don't think we need the old characters and actors to make the MCU succeed if they were able to be more consistent with our new main characters. And I think rebooting the universe would cut some of these new characters' stories short before we get to fully explore them like we did with the original Avengers. That said, the idea of recasting actors like Kevin Feige's original principle may not work for a hard reboot, but it could work for a soft reboot. And I think this is the more likely direction Marvel will go in. Through the multiverse in Secret Wars, we may see new alternative versions of past characters who could end up in the MCU, and it could act as some sort of a reset on the requirement to watch past stories, but still keeping the remaining actors and characters around. And for comic book fans, this isn't a new idea. We actually saw something very similar in the comics after the 2015 Secret Wars with the all new, all different Marvel story, which led to the combination of the main Marvel 6 on 6 universe and the Ultimate Comics universe. This was designed to bring over fan favourite characters like Miles Morales from different universes, merging them with the main Marvel universe. Other characters were given more prominent roles, replacing classic counterparts, and it acted as a stepping on point for new comic fans who didn't want to be bogged down by their extensive history. And events like these are very common in the comics to reset the status quo and get more fans invested. The all new, all different Marvel was then replaced again in 2018 with the fresh start relaunch, putting the focus back on the classic characters. And we've seen similar events in DC with the new 52 and Rebirth. And I could see the MCU applying a similar idea to their universe, merging different universes to keep what they want and recasting other dead characters while ending the multiverse saga and going down a more traditional story route again. We were actually gonna see something similar in the DCEU with the original cut of The Flash where Michael Keaton and Supergirl were gonna end up in the DCEU. But this never happened as James Gunn is going ahead with a supposedly brand new universe. But this original idea for the DCEU is what we would call a soft reboot, keeping what we want and changing what we need. And I think this could work. It is of course hard to picture other actors in the roles of Iron Man and Steve Rogers without it feeling like they're being replaced. But maybe through the use of the multiverse, it could work. If they reboot the universe, we're gonna see them recast anyway, and I don't think we need a new set of Iron Man films with a new actor in another universe. But maybe a new actor playing Iron Man in the MCU in a more supporting role could work. Maybe? I think the main benefit of this is it would allow us to see characters interact that we didn't get before. Because of timings, we never got to see Reed Richards and Tony Stark together. We never got to see Wolverine and Captain America or Black Widow and Daredevil. Bringing new versions of these characters in will allow us to see these Marvel moments that we never got. But... I don't think it would feel the same without the original actors in the roles. And also, it takes the consequences out of the world if you can just bring anyone over from another universe. As you can tell, I'm not keen on the idea of a hard reset after Secret Wars because I still feel like it's too soon. And even the idea of a soft reboot still seems a bit weird, but it is the option that I think is more likely. Honestly, what I would want would be for the MCU to continue after Secret Wars with the remaining characters in the world, continuing their stories, and then have one big final event to conclude the universe. In that time, Marvel 
should cut down on the number of projects and the number of new characters and instead focus on the stories of the existing characters. I think after this Marvel should take a break not have movies for a few years before we reboot the whole thing. But Secret Wars feels too soon. I think the idea of a reboot after Secret Wars is reactionary to the negative response to recent projects and I don't think it actually solves the issues. Marvel should focus on what they're doing now rather than looking ahead for an easy solution. Like I said at the start of this video, a reboot is inevitable. It will happen one day, but I think Secret Wars is too soon. And with the MCU only just getting the X-Men and Fantastic Four, I think there's still stories to tell in this world for a few more years after Secret Wars. Let me know what you think about the idea of rebooting the MCU in the comments below. It will be interesting to see what happens with James Gunn's new DC universe and how audiences respond to that so soon after the DCEU. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps my channel out so much. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this on Marvel, DC, Star Wars, or anything else amazing going on in cinema right now. But for now, thanks for watching. Cinemaze.